Sa pagkuha ng derivative ng mga trigonometric function, may mga formula tayo na kailangan nating i-memorize at matandaan para masagot natin yung mga functions na kailangan nating kunan ng derivatives. Ito yung mga formula na gagamitin natin sa pagkuha ng mga derivatives ng ilang mga trigonometric functions. So, meron tayong derivative ng sine u with respect to x at ang magiging derivative niya will be cosine u du dx. At ang pattern ng pagkuha ng derivatives sa trigonometric function, kung mapapagkuha pansin ninyo ay magkakaroon ng mga similarities tulad dito. So, ito yung mga gagamitin natin sa lesson natin ngayon, yung six derivatives ng trigonometric functions. At makikita nyo rin mamaya yung derivative ng e to the u. At ang derivative ng function na kung saan meron kang e raised to the u will be e raised to the u times the derivative of u with respect to x. So, yan yung mga rules na gagamitin natin today. So, Umpisahan natin sa pinakasimple hanggang sa mas pinaka-challenging na mga functions sa uh, calculus na pwede natin kunan ng derivatives. Simulan natin sa number 1 which is very basic. We have the function sine 2x. At kapag nakita nyo na yung function nyo ay given as sine 2x, so ibig sabihin nun kukunin nyo yung derivative ng sine 2x at ang formula ng derivative ng sine will be cosine u du dx. Now, mapapansin nyo sa mga formula ng mga trig functions, laging merong u at merong du dx. So, para mas makita nyo yung mga steps at um, yung mga partitions ng ating derivative, sinulat ko yung mga terms na kailangan sa ating derivatives. So, unang-una, yung u. Ang u dito will be yung 2x or yung function. So, meron tayong u equal to 2x. At ang derivative ng um, 2x or yung u with respect to x. So, ang derivative ng u mo with respect to x will be 2. At kakailanganin natin yan para i-plug in natin yung derivative ng sine 2x mula dito sa formula. Kaya yung ating function, ang kanyang f prime of x or yung kanyang derivative will be cosine u du dx according to the formula at by plugging in the value of your u at du dx mula dun sa ating derivative, ang u ay 2x at ang du ay 2. So, ang f prime of x or ang derivative ng sine 2x will be cosine 2x times 2. Now, to further simplify your function, pwede natin isulat itong cosine 2x times 2 as f prime of x equal to 2 cosine 2x. At yan ang derivative ng ating function na sine 2x. At gagamitin natin yung basic concept na yan sa pagkuha ng derivatives ng ilang mga trigonometric functions mula sa pinakamadadali hanggang sa mas pinaka-challenging. So, umpisan or susunod natin yung function na cosine 3x squared minus 1. So, mapapansin nyo, yung ating function ay cosine. So, ang kukunin nating formula, or yung formula na gagamitin natin, will be yung derivative ng cosine u, which is negative sine u times the derivative of u with respect to x. So, tulad nung ginawa ko sa number 1, yung u ko is 3x squared, at ang derivative naman ng aking u, which is 3x squared minus 1, ay 6x. At kailangan ko yan para makuha ko yung derivative ng ating function. So, ang derivative ng function natin will be negative sine u du dx, and by plugging in yung mga values na nakuha natin using derivative will be u is 3x squared minus 1, at ang ating du dx is 6x, so ang f prime of x will be negative sine times 3x squared minus 1 times 6x. At kung gusto nyong i-further simplify itong ating function, pwede natin siyang isulat as f prime of x equal to negative 6x sine quantity 3x squared minus 1. Now, kung mapapansin nyo, kapag kumukuha tayo ng derivative na isang trig function, yung mga nahuhuling term, lagi natin inililipat sa unahan. Kasi ito yung standard form ng ating mga trig function. So, ginagawa lang natin na binabalik natin sa trigonometry o yung mga nakasanayan nating function, yung ating notation para dun sa ating simplest form ng ating derivative function. Pero kung... Uh, Titingnan nyo, itong sagot na negative sign times 3x squared minus 1 times 6x is already an acceptable answer na derivative ng ating function na f of x. Yung susunod naman nating function is y equal to cosecant e 
raised to 3x. At yung derivative ng cosecant mula doon sa ating formula sheet kanina will be negative cosecant u times cotangent u du dx. So tulad ng mga nauna examples, kailangan natin hanapin si u at si du dx mula doon sa ating original function. At ang u natin dito will be e raised to the 3x at ang derivative ng e raised to the 3x ay kukunin natin maya-maya. So ang u nga is e to the 3x at ang derivative ng ating e to the 3x with respect to u, which is yung exponent, will be e to the 3x times the derivative ng ating exponent. Ang derivative ng ating exponent, which is 3x, is equal to 3. So, using the rule, ang derivative ng e to the 3x will be 3 times e to the 3x. So, yan yung um, unang yung nakitang function with um, using e at napakadali lang ng derivative ng um, function na e kasi gagamitin lang natin yung formula na pinakita ko kanina which is e to the u du dx. So, using this formula kanina, yung ating y prime which is yung derivative will be neg negative cosine u times cotangent u du dx and by plugging it in, yung ating u kanina will be 3, I mean e to the 3x cotangent e to the 3x times the derivative of u with respect to x which is yung 3 times e to the 3x. So ito ngayon yung ating derivative and if you want to further simplify your function, your function will be equal to y prime equal to negative 3 e raised to the 3x times cosecant e raised to the 3x times cotangent e raised to the 3x. At ito yung derivative ng cosecant e raised to 3x. So papansin nyo, from napakaikling function, naging napakahaba na niya kasi yung derivative formula natin for cosecant is medyo mahaba din. So kaya, kailangan nyo nang mag-practice kasi mamememorize nyo lang yung mga uh, formula ng derivative with constant practice or yung uh, exposure nyo doon sa mga formula na ginagamit natin. At yung number four, 4, we have y equals tangent x squared minus 1. Ang formula ng derivative ng tangent will be secant squared u times the derivative of u with respect to x. So ang u natin dito is x squared minus 1. At ang derivative naman ng x squared minus 1 is equal to 2x. By using the formula ng derivative ng tangent, we'll have y prime is equal to secant squared u times du dx. At ang ating u, which is x squared minus 1, at ang ating du dx, which is 2x. So, ito na ngayon yung ating derivative ng ating function, secant squared times x squared minus 1 times 2x. Na kung gusto nyo pang isimplify, pwede natin isulat ito ng y prime equal to 2x times secant squared times x squared minus 1. At ang ating huling Example, meron tayong uh, function na kung saan meron trigonometric function at saka nakapalob siya sa rational function. So we have f of x is equal to 1 plus cosine x all over sine 5x squared. Now, alam natin na sa rational function na tulad nito, gagamitin natin yung quotient rule para sa pagkuha ng derivative ng function na kagaya nito. So, ang rule or quotient rule is given by low d high minus high d low all over low low. Or yung copy yung ating denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus copy the um, numerator times the de uh, derivative of the denominator all over the square of the denominator. So, yan yung ating quotient rule. So, i-apply lang natin yung quotient rule doon sa ating function para makuha natin derivative ng ating trigonometric function. So, yung ating low, derivative of high, minus high, copy, times the derivative of low, which is this one, all over low squared. So, kukunin natin yung derivative nitong 1 plus cosine x at derivative nitong sine plus 5x squared para makompleto natin yung ating derivative dito sa ating original function. At ang derivative nga ng 1 plus cosine x is negative sine x dahil ito ay constant lang. Derivative ng 1 is 0. Derivative ng cosine x is negative sine x. At yung derivative naman ng sine 5x squared will have 10 times cosine 5x squared. Kasi yung derivative ng 5x squared is 10x 
So, we have cosine 5x squared times 10x. Dapat may x dito. Yeah, 10x cosine 5x squared. So, yung ating final answer, ipapasok lang natin yung ating uh, mga derivatives dito sa ating quotient rule. And we'll have sine 5x squared times the derivative of 1 plus cosine x, which is negative sine x, minus 1 plus cosine x times the derivative of sine 5x squared, which is 10x cosine 5x squared. So, meron dapat dito x all over dito sa sine 5x squared raised to the second power. So, yan yung derivative ng ating function na 1 plus cosine x all over sine 5x squared. So, mabuti sa mga derivatives na tulad na ito, kailangan step by step yung pamamaraan nyo ng pagkuha ng derivatives para hindi kayo malito at hindi nyo maiwan yung mga kailangan nyo kunan ng derivatives.